Welcome to the Woodpreneur Podcast, the best podcast for the business and marketing side of the sawmill, lumber, and wood industry. What's a woodpreneur? If you have a business where you make money as a woodworker, sawmill owner, selling slabs, or a content creator, then you're a woodpreneur. My name is Steve Larzelier, and I started Woodpreneur Life, Acres of Timber, and the Woodpreneur Podcast just for makers, wood entrepreneurs, and small business owners just like you. We're on a mission to empower thousands of wood businesses to grow sustainably and put out great products. Each week, I interview makers, sawyers, content creators, and six- and seven-figure entrepreneurs that know the wood industry inside and out. With topics covering everything from the urban lumber movement, sustainable sourcing and design, we'll discuss the ins and outs of how to grow, monetize, and fully immerse yourself in the woodpreneur lifestyle. If you're a hobbyist, a full-time wood business owner, part-time entrepreneur who wants to become a content creator, or quit your day job to pursue your dreams, the Woodpreneur Podcast is just for you. Thanks so much for listening. Now enjoy this episode. Welcome to a brand new episode of the Woodpreneur Podcast. This is your host, Steve Larzelier. Today's guest is Joe Huddle from 5-1 Perspective. How are you, Joe? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> good. <laughs> um, thanks for hopping on to the podcast. Um, can you tell everybody about 5-1 uh, Perspective? What do you do? Sure. So I'm 5-1 Perspective. Uh, I named it after my height. <laughs> I like to tell people that these are the things that I see down here. Um, so I I have a little woodworking business. I use my laser primarily, scroll saw. I do uh, business promotional products and just kind of create custom signage, custom art, and then dabble in my own art. Cool. How? Uh, give us the backstory. How did it come about? COVID. I'm a COVID <laughs> business. <laughs> yeah, we actually moved in September of 2020. So we transferred with my husband's work. And I thought there's no way anybody's hiring. It's like everything's getting locked down. I've been always kind of just doing this on the side. And uh, so once we moved, I literally just started telling people that I make signs. <laughs> And hoped that they trusted me. And uh, I just I just put it out there. I was like, this is what I'm doing. And I took some business courses. And I'm still doing it four years later. So it worked That's, out. Congratulations. <laughs> what were you doing before? I was an admin, like a uh, like human resource. <laughs> like oh, nothing. like at a company or whatever? And Yeah, yeah. Um, just a little local company. Um Nothing related to this. No, no business experience. Um, nothing. I, I, yeah, I don't really know what I was thinking other than maybe just the, the craze of COVID. <laughs> I needed something to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Just kept doing it. Well, COVID. Yeah. I mean, COVID in in your country, they really locked that down like a lot. Oh yeah, like, like it, it, was, it was massive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We moved yeah. and like we literally could not leave our house. So. We got a property that had a big shop and I got my laser and I just hustled. <laughs> the, you know, talk about, talk about that. Like, cause the, the equipment, did you ha- buy, did you come up with the idea first and then got the equipment or did you get the equipment and you're like, I guess I'll figure this out. Well, yeah. Bit of both. I started scroll, like I started everything on my scroll saw and it was one day I was making like Easter kits. And Mm -hmm. of course, like designer Joe didn't talk to scroll saw Joe. And I was in over my head making these really silly little bunny glasses. Mm -hmm. I was like, there's got to be a better way. Like I am stack cutting all of this wood to make four bunny rabbit glasses at a time. And then I kind of went down a little like rabbit hole, no pun intended to the Easter. Um, Mm -hmm. And I learned about lasers and then I got in touch with CanCam and yeah, I knew I needed it to scale my business. I needed that. For sure. To do, to do more high production or was it more about quality? Yeah, Yeah. I just couldn't keep up. Like I, It's a good problem to have, I guess. But yeah, I just needed something to kind of streamline. Yeah. My shop isn't heated. So I'd be out there. I'm in Manitoba. I'd be out there in the dead winter. (laughs) Because I was trying to scroll saw with a tiny little heater. Yeah. So yeah, I, I knew there had to be a better way. And 
then I knew I needed to invest if I was going to keep going um, into something that would like allow me to keep going. Got you. So the scroll saw was a very manual way to do what you could be doing with the laser at a higher, Mm -hmm. like you could just produce faster and you could, you could now utilize like computer drawing too. So like right. now you're you, now you've you, like you expanded what you were actually right. able to offer and it wasn't just your designs. It was their designs that you can bring to life through wood. Right. And then that's when I kind of learned about um, file design. And yeah. then I realized I like that side of things too. I'm not the techiest person, but you don't really need to be. It's pretty user friendly And so then I kind of learned how to make my own designs and I'm just kind of getting into selling those now. It's like a more passive income. So it's opened so many doors. (laughs) Wow. Taking that chance. Yeah. Um, And you're not just lasering wood, right? You're lasering plastics too? Like what a... Yeah. So I do acrylics, um, which is basically like a plexiglass. Um, And you can get it in all the cute colors and all the cute patterns and just make things totally unique. Yeah. So and then I love mixing all the material. So I also do leather. Yeah, it's fun. (laughs) Um, How how when did you know it was like a thing? Like, when did you know that? I think I still don't believe that it is. Like I go through bouts of imposter syndrome. It's just such a roller coaster, right? Um, I'll I totally believe in it. I know it, it's a thing, but I can get so in my head about that. Um, mm. I just tr- I just trust. Like there are down days, like where or down weeks where the sales are slower than I think I would like. And then I start questioning everything and then they come in rapid fire and I'm like, I got this. And then it's like, it just ebbs and flows. And I think, I think the longer I go, I'm four years in now. So I kind of like, I'm slowly just understanding that. So I think I knew it was a thing though. Like I think I had such good family backup and such good supports. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to keep going. Like they believe in me. I need to believe in this. We just have to keep it going. And yeah, I don't know. It's just running a business is hard. <laughs> it really is. It really, <laughs> it really is. is. It really and is. And then trying to like make all of the things on top of thinking about how to run a business. It's a challenge, but I've got good supports. Being able to have uh a level of stamina in your business and like resilience and getting over all of those things. Those are, those are really, really big. Um, yeah. How do you, how do you stay like, how do you keep developing your skills? I believe that creativity produces creativity. Mm. So I think like I will try something and then I'm like, Hey, can I do it this way? Or can I do that? What's the next step? And you just kind of like, it just kind of builds on each other. I follow um, like a few accounts on Instagram for some good inspiration or just kind of see what's out there. Um, And then I have a really solid foundation of small business in our community here, um, which I think we all just kind of spark that in each other as well. So um like what they're doing in their business. It's like, well, how can I help you in yours? How are you helping me in mine? And it just builds and grows with a solid community. Well, your reels, especially when you're making them are very, um, very ASMR. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks. Yeah. That's they're, they're fun. They're fun to watch. Um, how, how have you gotten the word out about the business? Um, you know, I'm like a slave <laughs> to Instagram. <laughs> so like I I really put probably too many eggs in my Instagram basket, but um I I've only done Instagram marketing. I have a website that I try to direct most people to. Mm-hmm. Um and then 
as much as I can in the community, I sign up for um, like the local markets and um, like, you know, make sure I'm posting in all the right groups or yeah, I don't know. I think that's somewhere, something where I can uh, like where I need improving on or I need I don't know what it, I don't know what it is, but like, I just think, um, marketing is somewhere where I really lack because yeah. I think I streamlined that like me. I don't know. I don't know yeah. <laughs> I think if, I, if I got that under control, uh-huh. um, because I've done enough battling the algorithms. I don't know. I think it, I just think it could be a little bit smoother if I didn't For sure. put so much weight into social media. I, I know what you mean. Yeah, we could talk about yeah. that for sure. What? Yeah. Let me um, let me ask you, like, because I'm looking at your work and I'm like, you know, things when it comes to creativity in a project, if somebody comes to you with the design, are you pushing the envelope as to what's possible or are they? Because I could see how you could like really streamline and like crank these out. But right. I'm kind of looking at some of them. I was like, whoa, that looks really complicated. <laughs> yeah, I think it's me. Um, uh-huh. I think we're seeing quite a bit. I just did um, in April. I collect all my scraps and I throw out nothing. <laughs> it's like it's like a terrible habit. Um, but then I do what I call an eco-friendly collection. So I work with all the smallest pieces possible to try mm-hmm. to make them into new art. Gotcha. So I think that's what you're seeing. If I were to take on a custom, um, they're not usually that complex, although I would love that. Um, But then it's trying to get my vision through a black and white computer screen to a customer who's not really maybe sure what they want. So, yeah, yeah, it's it gets challenging that way. Do you uh, do you have any help? No. (laughs) Yeah, no, not yet. I feel like I'm in that that limbo stage where it's like I could hire out some of these kind of smaller tasks that would make things a lot easier for me. Yeah. But then when I go into like the little lull periods where like, you know, it's a little bit quieter for me, that's Mm -hmm. when I try to, you know, do Christmas or just stain the wood, you know, like little things that'll help me when it gets busy. Um, So, yeah, I, I think I'm like in between needing to hire help versus <laughs> continuing doing it all on my own. Yeah. 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 Where do, well, where do you want to be in the future? That's a very good question. I don't know. I, I think of that often, actually. Um, I think I would love to find some more passive income. I've been doing lots of how to classes, uh, like paint, paint nights for um, like ladies night out or staff functions or something like that. Um, yeah. So something where I can, I can be doing the work, but they're actually doing the product. So I don't have to make 20 of the same thing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So I think I don't really have a, <laughs> really have a plan. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of fell into it. I feel like I'm an accidental entrepreneur. So mm. um, yeah. So I'm still kind of, rolling with it yeah 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 and as long as you're you're having fun right oh yeah totally i mean more times than not i'm having fun there are it's challenging but yeah i do love it i love i love creating Mm -hmm. i I love when i get together and help teach i love markets and meeting people people. yeah 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 yeah. What, what what made you pick the mirror seven um, I, I started following just a, that mom with a laser. She's uh, huge in the community of the laser world. And you want to give her a shout just, out? Yeah. <laughs> Let's give her a shout out. <laughs> What's her name? Uh, uh, I, it's Emily. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. She's so wonderful. Um, and her group was just really great. And it convinced me. Cam Cam's Canadian. Um, so I liked that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, And what was the onboarding and ramp up and learning time of having a mirror seven? 
<laughs> it was uh, it was painful. <laughs> was it? Yeah. That's a me thing. That's not a them thing. Um, it was just very overwhelming. Like I, I didn't. I'm not a machine person at all. Like I, did, I didn't know really what I was getting myself into. Um, the lining of the mirrors, like one mirror has to hit the other mirror to hit the other mirror to mm. like cut the wood, and I was like, "What the heck is happening?" Yeah. But now, <laughs> that stuff used to send me like right into a tizzy. Like I like crying or calling the husband crying. Um, but now I can do it. And there's support there. Um, Customer like tech service. support. Yeah. Yeah. You just call them. They'd FaceTime with the problem, like in a Amazing. solution, talk you down, <laughs> help you right to like the end yeah. and get you back. going. So I think their customer service is top notch. For sure. For sure. If I can do it. And this is like, I know everyone says this, but like, if I can do it, very doable and very manageable. It's a great machine. Do you, um, what does, uh, how's, how's business been so far this year for you? Uh, it has been really good. I'm, I'm in the community here where there's like lots of bike races. So I'm doing trophies. Um, cool. like just kind of cool odds and ends, like things that I never really expected to do. So I'm having a good year, but I'm feeling um, like for the everyday customer, it's maybe slower for like custom orders that way. But mm -hmm. business um, for business promotional products, they're full on. But I, I think that there is definitely like a small business hit when it mm -hmm. comes to like your average buyer. Like yeah. Personal shopping kind of thing. Um, I feel like that's quite a bit slower. I think it's just the times. Um, but for business, business is good. Business, yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. And four years full time. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. That's I know. I think that's kind of crazy. It's very rewarding. It's very cool. I love like not having to ask anybody for a day off. <laughs> I think that's one of that's, that's the one intended perk. That's unintended perk. You're like, whoa, whoa, yeah. wait. I you mean I can yeah. take off whenever I want? Yeah. Right. I know. It's like a blessing and a curse because it's like you can take off whenever you want, but yeah. <laughs> so it's like you, discipline, I think, is like the key. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Um tell uh tell us so you you get a lot of word through like Instagram and social like that. Yeah. Um, have you, what is, what has sort of been one of the most rewarding aspects of, of running this business? I think, um, I think it's like, because I have kind of like, I always had a cricket. I always had the ability to like customize something for myself. Yeah. Um, it wasn't until a lady actually left me a note about how meaningful, um, her project that she needed me to do was. And I was like, wait, like this is. A, this is like a bigger deal than I think that it is because not everybody has the ability to do this or to create mm -hmm. or an imagination to like bring things to life. So I think that's my most rewarding thing is like I can bring somebody's vision to life and they have a keepsake for their family. Yeah. I think that's really cool. That is very, very, very cool. And especially yeah. the, the products that you make last forever. And right. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and and it's something that brings joy to people. Totally. Yeah. 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 That's cool. Yeah, yeah. It's it's very cool. I, yeah, I think, I, I guess like I kind of take it for granted that I can just go downstairs and like make a fun little like happy birthday something, but it's very cool for somebody to be able to, to have that for theirs. So it's, yeah, Absolutely. that's my favorite part. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah. Um, what, what, uh, what do folks need to know about, the mirror seven or, or what could you say that like the impact that it's had on your life and your business? Oh man, it's a workhorse. So I have, I've had contracts with FXR, which is a, I'm sure it's everywhere. So um, it's just a big like outdoor company. Mm -hmm. um, so I've been in their stores and made special gifts for them. Yeah. Um, and I could not have scaled my business and done that stuff without, um, without them without the laser. Um, so just like 
big contracts, um, like the, like knowing that it's not going to fail on you. Um, I think that is so important or if it does, like if you do something, it's fixable and there is a team of people ready to help you fix it and get your business back going. Um, yeah, that it's been amazing. It's been a game changer. Definitely. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, this is a part of our podcast where you can ask any marketing or business advice. Is there anything that you need help with or is there any advice that you uh, would like to ask about growing uh, your business and marketing it? <laughs> How much time do you got? <laughs> <laughs> I just marketing in general, I find very hard. I find um, like maybe even explaining to people what I am trying to do. I'm not, I'm not hitting the mark. Like, there's a lot of people who maybe don't even know that I exist. And it's like, I feel like I'm banging my head against the wall being like, I'm here and I can. Yeah. So I just, yeah. Like, I don't know like how to scale that or like build bigger, but I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So here, here's uh just, just some, some thought. Right. And so, yeah. So I remember I had somebody, I forgot, what did they do? I think they might have had, I think they might have had a laser company as well. But one of the things that I, that I got from them was they marketed the fact that they had a laser. Okay. And that's not a good thing. Yeah. You don't market the fact that you're a laser. Because what you actually, the laser is the tool that allows you to create. What does it allow you to create? Right. What right. I'm asking, what does it allow you to create? Business promotional products. Exactly. <laughs> Art? So yes. that's exact. that's what you do. Like you're mm -hmm. a, you're more of a design company than a laser right. engraving company. Laser engraving is like how you bring it to life, but you're right. actually a design and promotional branding company. Right. And so when people say, Oh, how do you do that? And you're like, I use, you know, a laser with wood and acrylics to create original designs that you would never use that you would never find anywhere. And everything is very custom to you and your brand. And so that's, that's kind of the way that I would like market it. Um, on your website, um, what I don't see is so there's kind of like two things. One is like uh, you, it's it's a little confusing as to like what you're trying to get people to do, and right. do you want more custom stuff or do you want to market your own products? And right. I'm assuming that your own. Uh, custom stuff makes way more money than your, than your products. Right. And so yes. what I would do honestly on your website is just f like, just say custom design and branding. Right. Like, and, and, and the way that I would do that is I would market the, um, I would market, I would market the fact that you could do this for businesses. Right. Okay. Like, because it's, it's actually two separate things. You have your own custom products and then you have, you have your own product line and then you have things that you do for people. And right. so I, again, and then I would also have a shop, but I would actually push more of the custom brand mm -hmm. products. And when you talk about yourself, I would just say like, yeah, I do promotional branding and design for companies because you now you know how to do it. Like, you know how to design on files, like, you know how to design file or you know how to take right. what somebody's doing and then bring it to life. So you see what right. I'm saying? It's like reframing that. And then on the side, then you're like, OK, I I have my own product line as well. But what I would do, too, is just like on your homepage, like literally just show the custom products that you do for businesses. Right. And then, right. I don't have any of that on there. I don't think you don't at all. 
<laughs> at all. No, that's so, pretty confusing. Yeah. I mean, the other thing too that you could do is um, you could you could just end up saying like, "Can you still see me?" I can't see you, but I can hear you. Okay. Let's see. Uh, oh, oh, hold on. Ah, <laughs> uh, there you go. Um, so what I what I would do, I mean, this is this is controversial, and I don't want uh, to take take this lightly. Take this lightly. Yeah, okay. let's hear it. I would potentially um, keep this, keep your fifty one perspective, and then I would. Um, maybe read, uh, see if you could find, um, so you're in, you're, are you in the city of Manitoba? Uh, province of Manitoba. Um, what, what town are you in? It's called Dauphin. It's just a little town. Okay. What's the nearest major town? Winnipeg. Okay. So like, how far is it from you? Four hours. Okay. So you're really (laughs) far. Okay. Um, so Because you you can actually work with everybody in your whole into you it does you're not really limited by geography no. anyway because people no. mail you signs or whatever right so yeah um, in fact uh, most of my stuff gets mailed yeah I could see that yeah I mean look you, this isn't going to come out for a while so I could tell you this domain you can buy Manitoba custom designs or custom branding, like play around with that. And then that could be its own website just for businesses. And you, and it doesn't even need to be so in depth, right? You're just like free custom quote. You post a bunch of pictures and then I would still do that on 51 perspective, like have the custom. And then, and then if people want to shop, your own like are you selling a lot of your own stuff on your website through christmas time so from probably september to december um my like my own product line yeah it's it's does pretty well yeah Um, and then when customs kind of stop the customs stop right yeah well and they it does stop but also um I, I turn it off, right? Like, so I don't take any more customs because my own stuff does so yeah, well. So I yeah, don't take yeah, any yeah. customs off in September. So, yeah, that's that's one thing that I would do. And so, okay, so this is what I would do. I would, yeah, I would I would do that. I would continue to promote this. I would, uh, I would do the cut the fifty the fifty one perspective, like change the un- the user interface a little bit just to like reflect that you do custom and you have your own brand, right? So people can still shop. I would create a separate website just for businesses. And I would write like a blog on how to like make your brand stand out. And I would do case studies and before and afters and testimonials because 51 perspective doesn't really tell the the story of like what you can actually do. And I understand, but like, again, it's all 51 perspective, even on, if you end up doing like Manitoba custom designs or custom signs, Manitoba, right? Like you can, you'll still be able to put on the bottom. It's by 51 perspective. Right. And like, but in your, in your head, you actually have two things that you do. I do. And I feel like your per- current website is potentially missing out on the idea of what your what is possible, right? Because right. this looks yeah, like a, right. a small gift shop, right? Right. right. It looks like and it's small funny you say that because... for like five or ten dollars. You know what I mean? And that's yeah, not yeah. you're not gonna you're not gonna move the needle by unless you sell no. a ton, right? That's so true. Plus, I sometimes think like um, sometimes with having my like small gift shop, as you say, um, 
then they see that. And then I try to sell them on a custom off a $15 item. And they're like, that's not my customer anymore. Right. That's not your customer anymore. It, yeah, right. It's not a, it's not a thing because like you, what you could, what you could be doing. Right. And I'll tell you the strategy that I told this person is that like, you literally have the tool to go into like, what's the big industry in Winnipeg? I'm just, just take a, take a, you know, give me an idea. Yeah. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't so, even know. So let's, just, let's just say, um, you know, I, uh, let me, let me just, let me just, let me see. Um, let me see. Uh, when, uh, what's wrong? With like this? farming. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Probably. Win, Winnipeg biggest industry. Let's just see. Aerospace, right? Oh. Aerospace okay. is the largest aerospace center in Western Canada. Um, home to okay. Standard Aero, Boeing, Canada, and Magellan, right? Those, those sound familiar to you? Sure. <laughs> Agriculture, tourism, electricity. So, okay, oil mining, right? So, like, right. you could go, yeah, you yeah. could go to a okay, you could go to a mining company mm-hmm. and say, "Hey, look, your branding is crap. Let me make some cool branding for you." And right. you can make a sign that goes behind their reception desk. You could make right. the sign that goes in the front. You could make the signs that lead people on the factory floor. You could make, like, there's so many things. You could make all of the keychains and the badges for all of the people, right? You yeah. could make all of the tumblers. You could make, you could make the, you can design the whole entire place. So now, instead of like, a thousand dollar, two thousand dollar sign that you make one time, you go in and present a whole entire package, and right. that one or two thousand dollars could end up being thirty to forty thousand dollars. And if you have five of those or ten of those a year, now you got like you know a half million dollar business, right? <laughs> Which would be the goal. But they don't know that because when they yeah. go to your web, current website, they can't see right. what's possible. Right. And it's yeah. hard to it's hard to scale when you're selling fifteen fifteen dollar an hour ornaments. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so like and or you know, thirteen dollar bookmarks. Like those are great for passive and when yeah. you're not working. You can maybe, and you're at home, you have somebody that can do a second shift and they're doing all of those smaller things, but yeah, exactly. you have the brain and the skill set to solve bigger problems. And so therefore I would probably focus on that. Like, I'm assuming you want to make, you want to make really good money with this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you need yeah. to solve bigger problems and go after bigger people. And right. part of that is reframing that. who you are and what's possible. Don't market the fact that you make, that you have a laser, market the fact that you can brand people and make it look really, really, really cool. Right. Right. Yeah. It's funny you say that because someone went to my website, actually my Instagram, and they were like, but what do you do? And I was like, what do you mean? That's what I do. But that's what they're meaning. Like, I'm not really explaining what I do. It's frustrating too, right? It's frustrating because you're like, Well, wait, I can do this, but, but mm-hmm. there is a gap between what you can do and how you're communicating it. And so right. is that helpful to hear? No, that's super helpful. It's a kind of like the kick I needed to like, I'm, I feel like I'm chasing small peanuts. Yeah. And yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Now I'm, I'm honestly, I like, I, I truly, I truly believe that you, that you can just reposition your business Mm -hmm. So that you can just essentially just make more money. Like, and you need to reframe it, you know, like you just need to, you just need to reframe because uh, the biggest thing is like uh, too many people chase smaller things when you could just chase a bigger thing. Right. 
Uh, yeah, exactly. That's very true. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and and, and the, fact, the fact that the stuff that you do can easily be put into like, I mean, you can make a large sign that goes behind a reception desk of a, of a million dollar company. And then right. the materials that you use could all be locally sourced lumber. Right. And then you can tell that story. Right. Like every new business, every new business, sh every business period should have your signs. Right. They just don't know that you exist yet. Right. Right. You know what I mean? And so I almost, I almost feel like if you were going to do an, in, like a, like our Instagram thing, like if I, if I were to go to your, um, to your Instagram and do, you know, the, the 51 perspective, mm -hmm. um, let's see, 51 perspective. If I do, yeah. so if I, if I go here, um, the one thing that I, because your stuff is beautiful and I know that you pay attention to how it appears. Like I know right. you pay attention because you have, <laughs> you have a color palette and you have an aesthetic and it's beautiful. Good thank job. you so much. Yeah. Thank you. And so for me, I'm like, yeah, forget the small stuff. The small stuff is cute. Right. But it's not going to, it's not going to like, help you grow to right. have another employee and you can take vacation and still make money. And right. you know what I mean? Like you gotta, you gotta like, you gotta think a little yeah. bit, you gotta think yeah. like the, in the bigger right. problem that you solve, the more money you'll make. So right. my next step for you would be to make a list of the biggest companies in your area. Um, the top 10 biggest companies and yeah. I would um, reach out to the CEO or the president or the head of HR or the office manager and say, hi, I am a, a design and branding company that helps companies like yours stand out with unique uh, custom design products made out of locally sourced wood. Right. And I would love to do a design audit to see how we can up your branding with unique materials. Right. Anybody would be like, they'd either say, I don't have time. They're like, listen, it's not going to cost you time. I'm just going to come and visit you. And I'm going to see right. what are the opportunities to enhance your branding. And then you're going to go in, you're going to be like, all right, your reception desk right here can have a sign, your, your factory here, you're this, you're this, you're out. Because you can make outdoor signs too, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I can. Yeah. Yeah. So like, yeah, I can, I can do your outdoor signs and all of that sort of stuff. And so like you go in, you do an audit and then you mock up what it would look like. And then you say how much it would cost. Right. Give the first three people a deal and just say, yeah, like I'm doing this because, uh, you know, I've, I've done these, these signs for these businesses. And so I'm looking to do bigger work. So I will give right. you a deal if I can use it as a case study. And that's right. It. That's yeah. what I would do. Contact right. the biggest, think... literally the biggest companies. Okay. I'm gonna, I think <laughs> some of it is like, um, I'm kind of like stuck in this, like that, that poor mentality where it's like, well, that's what I've been doing. So that's how I do it rather yeah. than like reaching for that next step. I think that, I yeah. think the next, the next step is literally contacting your biggest, biggest companies. That's it. Like, right. Big companies and go and shoot big. Cause you're not, right. again, you're not a, you're not a scroll saw person. Like, like you can right. manufacture, you have a workhorse that can right. produce <laughs> high level things. Right. And the precision is next level. Like it. Exactly. So precise. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, there, there are million dollar laser companies, right? Like right. the only thing holding you back is having bigger jobs. And when you get more jobs and you get another laser and then you can hire another person to run it. Right. Right. And then 
then you can teach somebody like that's, that's what I feel like a goal should, should be for you is like, yeah, I'm, I want to, I want to either get an employee or another laser. Right. Yes. I think you could do it. I think you're going to do it. I'm going to do it. Okay. Great. I am going to do it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, you can, you can yeah. do it. I, I wholeheartedly believe I it. So. it's, it's, Thank it's you. possible because you know why, you know why it's possible because you're solving problems and it's happy. It's like, you're not trying to sell somebody insurance because nobody wants to buy insurance. Nobody wants right. to buy a financial product, mm -hmm. but everybody wants their business to look good. Totally. totally. See what I'm saying? That like can you can make yeah. people look good. Right. And you care so much that you're going to go above and beyond true it's, it's very true. true right like yeah you totally you probably care for other people and how they look more than they care for themselves <laughs> probably yeah yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah no that's very cool i think you're right i think i can do i can do it you can I, do it yeah i've been like i can't you kind of get in your own way sometimes yeah yeah for sure for sure yeah. you totally yeah everybody gets in their way everybody gets yeah. in their way yeah. So I'm giving you full permission to go and build a half million dollar business. Just go ahead and okay. do it. All right. I'm just do it. <laughs> cool. All right. Tell everybody your uh, website and uh, what, okay. uh, yeah, your website and your Instagram. So my website is www.51perspective.com. Yep. And you can find me making things behind the scenes and sharing it all on my Instagram at 51 Perspective. Awesome. Thank you so much, Joe, for your time. And I look forward to getting your story out. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Take care.